right, I'm gonna go outside, get some progress done, make a video or two. Yeah, let's do it. Do, do, do. Oh man. Well, maybe I'll just stay inside today. Yeah. All right, so here it is. Uh, my big old hunk of shit, Dotson. Uh, my $450 Dotson. Uh, no title. And it's, it's kind of rough. But um, you don't really find a whole lot of these up, up uh, on the east side of the country. At least not floorboards in them. I'm gonna try to save it. Yeesh. Pretty nasty inside. But it's all here. Uh, it's five speed or four speed. One of the two. And we're gonna try to save it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Motor motor is pretty ugly. I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. So, man, look at all this shit. Hmm. It's kind of. This is kind of gross. Oh yeah. Those new black. Oh, the the nitrate ones, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna go put a pair of them on. This is kind of disgusting. Right. Yeah. Man, good. Good thing these seat covers are on. Oh boy. That. Are you taking a video? Yeah. Figure I'm going to document the progress of the shitty Datsun. That's what, that's what I'm going to call it. You know, honestly, there's not that much rust up top. Like, I mean, there's a little on, like, the top, you know. But, like, the hatch ain't all rusted out down here. Yeah. Well, the only Nissan Straight Six I want is expensive. Like a couple grand. Yeah, I know. Like if I could get one of the newer ones, I'd do it, but. I don't want a four cylinder. Yeah. Well, I bet I, yeah, I bet I can get this. <laughs> I bet you I can get this motor running again. Uh, well, this one was fuel, but it goes either way. Yeah, that's all the injectors set up right there on the intake. Uh, I think this is a 68. Or no, 78. My bad. I didn't even know they had Yeah. I mean, this dash, though. This dash is like... Like mint. I don't see any cracks anywhere in it. So that's... Pretty rad. Alright, so this is part one of uh, my new possible projects. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at this is a uh, 78 Datsun 280Z and uh, it's pretty rough I actually haven't uh, got much done on it since some last two videos which were from a couple years ago but uh, now that the Ranger is almost done I do need a new project and this is uh, one of the possible candidates so I want to talk a little bit about what I want to do to it and see if uh, my new subs are interested and uh, if so you let me know and uh, we'll get to work on it. But uh, don't be too hasty. I got a couple more uh, videos I'm going to make about other projects. So um, we'll take a look at them before uh, we make any decisions. But yeah, like I said, uh, 2AZ. I've always liked these cars. I made sure to get one um, pretty quick when I seen the price going up on them. And nowadays you, you can't find uh, anything worth a damn for under a couple grand. 
So I'm happy I snagged this one when I did, even though it's in pretty uh, bad condition. So what does it need? Uh, it needs floor pans and it needs frame rail connectors. Them are the only two big modifications I'm going to do to it body-wise. I'm not going to do a whole lot of paint and body. I mean, I'm, I can do it. And uh, I'll probably make a video about some of the work I've done on other things. Well, this one uh, is a shitbox. And I just want to get it so I can go do burnouts and get ice cream. So, yeah. Uh, I will be fixing the uh, roof. It has a uh, aftermarket sunroof some dealership put in. So I'll probably be going to the junkyard and finding the newer one to weld in. That, that doesn't leak. But that's the plan, that's the plan for the body. Uh, engine wise we are going to be putting in a uh, vortex 4200 it's gm's uh straight six dual overhead cam you probably haven't heard too much about these but they are very neat engines and one youtuber in particular has been getting all kinds of power out of them uh it's this guy right here uh nevlak 57 uh, i probably butchered it but yeah he has done all sorts of neat things with these engines. He is pushing them to the limit and breaking new ground all the time. But I wanted to keep the engine uh, a straight six um, for, I don't, don't want to say traditional, because if I was being traditional, I'd, you know, I'd put a Nissan straight six in it. But I wanted to keep it straight six, I guess, just for, I was tired of LSs. Like, let's be honest, you know, I, I can't put LS in everything. I mean, I would. But I don't want to. I already have the engine. Um, it came out of a Trailblazer, of course. I don't know if it runs. I haven't taken it apart. These are known for uh, spinning rod bearings. bearings. Um, the oiling system on them is kind of piss poor for the middle jur journals in the engine. Um, and there's a couple oil mods that are super easy to do to take care of all that, which we will be doing. But yeah, so we have to break down the engine, and if this is what I decide to work on up until the No Name Nationals, then we'll be doing all of that. Uh, Transmission-wise, I'll be putting in another AR5, the same thing I have in the Ranger. They're super stout. Um, I've seen people making 800 wheel horsepower on them and them holding together. Um, a couple guys have broke third gear on super hard launches and heavy trucks with slicks so like that is a possibility but this little car is going to be gutted and it's not going to weigh much of anything when i'm done with it so hopefully we won't break anything uh we will be doing a rear end upgrade because unfortunately the rear ends in these are not very strong and uh let's see who is so a youtuber makes a kit um i forget his name it's invincible something all right i'm gonna cut here i'm gonna come back with the name so this is the guy invincible screen muscle cars garage he hasn't been too active as of late but he has a lot of great older videos check him out but he uh made a kit to install the newer mustang uh independent super 8.8 .8 rear end in a Datsun. It's a bolt-in deal. Uh, you gotta get new uh, axle shafts made, but these things are super tough. And if you want to stick with uh, Nissan Datsun parts, they're really expensive to get a hold of the stronger units, and they cost a lot more. So we'll be going with, like I said, it's a Ford unit. It's a Super 8.8. It's the independent rear they put in the 2015 up Mustangs. That's what we'll be doing with it. Um, and we'll probably be doing things like some coilovers and some suspension, but other than that, I don't think we'll be doing too much. Uh, I would like to put in the turbo on the engine at some point. I don't know if that would be right away or just after I get it going, but that will be in the works. I want to make about 500 to the wheels in this car with as much as it weighs. I think that'll be plenty fast. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of my plan with this car. Uh, if you're interested, uh, leave a like, let me know in the comments. Look forward to my other couple of videos I got coming out about the other cars um, that I have to work on up until the No Name Nationals. 
And yeah, let's just have fun with it, guys. I look forward to uh, hearing from you. And thank you for all the support I've been getting. I didn't think I'd have as many subscribers as I have now a couple weeks ago. So it's great. I appreciate it. You guys have a good time. And I'll talk to you real soon. Thank you.